Hello everyone, how are you guys? I hope you guys are well and healthy. Because on this occasion, I want to share some tips for you so that you can maximize growth and the economy in the game Wideout Survival. By following this method, it will allow you to save more money without having to buy resources using diamonds. Isn't that great? It's fantastic. Okay. So without further ado, let's start the discussion. Number 1, regularly upgrade sawmill, coal mine, iron mine, and hunter's hut. Increasing the level of the resource factory makes the number of resources more abundant. So every time you open the game, the number of resources collected while offline is greater. Number 2, focus your research on growth and economy. Conducting research on growth and economy will increase the output of each resource factory. So if you want to maximize your resource output, then make this research your priority. Number 3, activate the resource production increase edict through the chief's house. Erdict is very useful and can give you a big advantage if you use it properly. Before using Erdict, make sure you have maximized resource building and resource research according to your furnace level. And I guarantee you, you can get the most out of the resource factory. Number 4, collect resources periodically on the world map. Using your troops to the maximum to collect resources from the world map is also one of the best ways to speed up and improve your economy, you have to make sure none of your troops are idle. Number 5, Complete Every Intel Mission Intel missions can also provide quite a lot of resources in a short time, you only need to complete each mission, and once it's finished, you will immediately get various types of resources. Number 6, Increase the Abilities of Growth Specialized Heroes In this game, there are several heroes whose function is to accelerate growth and the pace of the economy. Such as Eugene, Chloris, Charlie, Smith, and Zinman. For these heroes, you don't need to increase their exploration skills, you just need to maximize their expedition skills so that your resource output gets bigger. Number 7, Create a Second Account for Farming Resources You can create a maximum of two accounts on the same server, you can use this method to make it easier for you to get large resources without harming other players. Through this method, you don't need to be afraid of running out of resources, or getting counterattacks from opponents, because after all, it's your farm account. So those were 7 ways to maximize growth and economy in the Whiteout survival game. If there really is another way, which I may not mention in this video, you can comment below.